so guys i'm at uh, the modern sgr that is being installed there's electric that is electric uh, right here sgr that is five kilometers you know suspended on the expressway or something it's the viaduct viaduct yes and then this is the terminal that is yeah, terminus. this is the main terminus for dar es salaam main terminus yeah, for dar es salaam built uh, in the shape of tanzanite mineral oh tanzanite, tanzanite mineral which is found only in tanzania oh. so tanzanite mineral this has, has been inspired by the tanzanite mineral uh -huh. so they decided to build this terminal too like that so they have different designed up to the dome so this SGR connects Dar es Salaam city with Mwanza and the Burundi border. Burundi. Burundi up to Mwanza. It's Burundi more than 2,000 kilometers, and it's the longest SGR electric electrified SGR in Africa. It's yeah. more than 2,000 kilometers. For now, the phase one and phase two are complete, which are connecting Dar es Salaam city and Morogoro, and then Morogoro up to Makutukura Dodoma, the capital. They are working. It is start working on May or June this year. But uh, this journal, we are just testing it. I think some few days back, uh, people who saw in the news, yes. they are testing that electric railway. And this month, they are going to, uh, they are going to receive the new electric trains, which are those like we see in Europe, those bullet, bullet yeah, trains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this month, March, I think uh, by the end of March, they are going to receive those trains. And they will be tested also from Muya to Morogoro. So should we get in or go out? Yeah, let's go this way. So this place is called the waterfront area and this is the waterfront there at this station for phase two. Uh -huh. This one. So someone will be coming from the airport. Uh -huh. the airport of Dar es Salaam, yeah. Mombagara area, or anywhere in the city. If wants to go to Mwanza yeah. area, if wants to go to Mwanza area, uh, then he will use this PRT station and go direct to the SDR station to connect himself with it. To so this uh, terminus is built in the shape of Tanzanite, yes, Tanzanite mineral. Yes. Let's go. So waterfront area. Uh. And this is still the BRT. Yes, this is the BRT station in the waterfront. Uh -huh. The part of BRT phase two, which is not functioning now, they have not opened it. Wow. But later, I think next month or a few months time, yeah. they are going to open that uh, BRT system phase two. They are waiting for the electric bus. BRT oh, phase so two like, will be using the electric bus. Oh, I see. Bus. It's not been opened. The terminals. Yes, the terminals will want to be opened up to when the operation will start. Oh. Uh, they are they are waiting actually for the dam, the electric dam. The electric dam being yes, constructed. I mean the hydroelectric dam that was being constructed. That, that will supply the power. That will supply the power to this station. So we are going back to the city. We are going to the city. It's yes. when we are starting exploration of the city center. So this is the old sound. Old, old city center. Old city center. Now I think we have to... Do you go to the uptown? It's very far from here. No, we just explore this small city. Small town. So here, uh -huh. you can see these buildings here. Yes. We have uh, three towers here. We have the PSPF Twin Towers, which uh -huh. are more which? than 35 floors, these ones. Twin which towers. one? Which one? This, this two. Oh, this two. Yeah. Oh, this two. Yeah, on the left side. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. So these two are the uh, PSPF. Uh, twin towers. Uh -huh. We call them PSK commercial, commercial tower south and north, mm -hmm. and they are more than uh, 157 meters, and they have 65 floors. 65 this, they floors. They have uh, 67. Oh, okay, 70 floors. And this one, the tallest tower in Tanzania nowadays. Oh, this one. Yes, this is Tanzania Postal Sofa Tower. It is 160 meters tall, and it has 40, 40 floors. 40 floors. So this is the first one. The uh -huh. second one is that one which we are seeing there at Mawasiliano. Yeah. That's the second yeah. one. And this is the third one. This is the third one. These are the third towers. We have also Mzizima Tower and many other towers that are more than 100 meters here in the restaurant. So they are going to construct another new tower here. Somewhere here. It will be the TRC tower. The construction will start 
I think later this this year. And also there are those buildings there that will be demolished that will construct another tower, which will be called Tiarai Tower, which will be more than 180. I think the construction starts this year. So Maybe. this is the electric. Uh, yes. They call it uh, zero kilometer. Zero kilometer. Zero kilometer. So from here you go to Mwanza. From here you go to Burundi border. From here you go to Shigoma. So by 2006, you will be just connecting the rest room with Burundi, and you are going to connect the rest room with Mwanza. So that cargo that will be going to. So this is the place where they are going to construct the Tierra Sea Tower. The Tierra Sea Tower to be among the tourists also. I think they are going to pass this one. So this, this station will be moved away. Mm -hmm. They are going to construct the tower here. Tower here? Yes. Bro, how, how do you know this plan, the plan of your city like this? I, 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 I was with the city, the, the master plan. You know, my channel is called Explore with Painting. Yes. So I'm always finding facts from official statements so that we may explore the reality on the ground. That's my, the main theme of my channel. So I'm always wow. reading a lot of books, the budget, the budget, the plans, the electrical designs, so that I may know uh, when we're exploring the city, mm -hmm. I may have details to talk about. Man, you That's have why we have, I have to read, I have to understand where I'm going. And when I come back to Nairobi, I'll, I'll go to Nairobi. I will need to do a, a research, a proper research about that city. So that every word that I talk, it may be the reality on the ground. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'll do a lot of research. That's what that's what my channel means. Explore with Bertin. So guys so you can check him one, out, explore with Bertin. It doesn't have to be. Will it be the most also? They are going to construct the TRI tower. This I have seen the uh, architecture design. Just to check my TikTok account yes. where I posted that uh, architecture design, the building how it will be. It's a very beautiful building that will be constructed at this space. Yeah. So this is one stop center. All those people who want uh port, port uh, services. They are using this building to finish all the things. If you oh. need it, maybe to uh, have your product from outside. So last time I stayed here in the city center. In the city center right here. But this time, I said a way to explore it more. So these are these PSTS Twin Towers. They have offices and they are above there. Mm -hmm. They have some Airbnbs. So those people want to, they are built purposely. So that those people are going to dance. Because yes. they were, the coach of dance by there. Yeah. They can just stay here for one night and go dance. Yeah, last time I also stayed around here for one night. Yeah, because the rest is like a transit. Uh, town yeah, yeah, where yeah. people are passing here go to Zanzibar, going to North Circuit, Kilimanjaro uh, because you have the big airport here so yeah. somebody is coming up here and sleeps and you go where he wants to go so this is the old city center that is It's very quiet and cool. Still in Dar es Salaam, this is the city centre, old city centre. You can see the tall building. I think this is where I'll get my thumbnail. So this is Samora Avenue. Samora. Samora Avenue. Samora Avenue. It's one of the main seats of all the Dar es Salaam. Okay. Why, why is it called Old Dar es Salaam? Because this, was, this initially was... There are very few old buildings. Uh, maybe nowadays, but 
This is the old guy. This is the real restaurant from 1960. I need to change some. Old Dar es Salaam, that's what I was saying, this is the old Dar es Salaam. Yeah, the buildings yeah. are very old. Old Dar es Salaam. That's why it's old. Yes. Let's continue this. For joining this video, probably this is the last video. I'm doing stopovers in cities as I head to South Africa, and uh, Dar es Salaam has been one of my good cities. The first city that I stop in, of course, it is in East Africa. Now I need to get out of East Africa and head south. So I've spent here like two days exploring Dar es Salaam at night and during the day. And I've been exploring with I've been with the explore with Batin. He's been taking me around this area. He knows this place so so well. But he doesn't want to appear on the camera. Bro, why don't you just appear the last time say hello to my people? No. When is this <laughs> time I will appear? <laughs> Not your time. Not this time. So we are still in Samora Avenue. Okay. Are these apartments? Uh, above apartments. Oh, Down offices. Mm -hmm. All the top ones are. Yeah. People live in those places and yeah. the down places. I was a for renting. You rent for one week and you go away. So much. People have younger local, people. Local football. local football is really selling here. Yes, it's selling a lot. And we have many international players from other African countries uh -huh. and Europe. So all of these people here, yes. they are watching local football. Simba. Simba and yes. So this is Simba and the police. Simba and police. All of these people here are watching football. So Tanzania love their local football much. Then even the outside. They don't have those they have to know but Simba They are Yanga, local football. Simba Yanga, that's why the national stadium is also coming full. Yes, yeah, guys, they support football. Guys, people are watching this football. It's actually a big thing, and they see the traffic that it has caused. Because guys are seated, are seated in the road, in the middle of the road, to watch the football game that is ongoing. It's crazy, and it's beautiful that they support. You know, the local games here are very popular, or common. This is the old seat. Now, uh, in the in the public public transport, in the DRT, everywhere, yes. they are streaming. Uh, oh, people, yes, yeah, yeah. Here in Not in the National Dar es Salaam, the whole Tanzania. We have those Bandauliza, not those Bandauliza, they are everywhere within the city. So they are watching local football here. And when they play uh, at the National Stadium there, or Azam Stadium, or other stadiums which are called here in Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. they all come full because People have real fans here. And then how much do they pay to go and watch the football live? Small cash or big money? Uh, no. It's, it's expensive. It's, it's, it's just 1,000, other places 500. It depends the price. 
If this is more like Sharia's, then you want to them. If uh, we lose, they are all good. So that's the map of... I think I know this place, yeah? I think you explored this place last time. This is the Askari, commemorating the soldiers who fought for the First World War uh -huh. here in, in Tanzania. So this is the Askari monument. So this marks the center of the old Dar es Salaam. Oh, this is the old Dessa now yes. ends here. Ends here. When you go this way, now. So this side is old Dar es Salaam. Then I don't know this new Dar es Salaam or this new city now. So now this is the new Dar es Salaam. So let's go. New Dar es Salaam. So let's go up there because they're on that side. So this is the Azikiwe Street. Azikiwe? Yes, Azikiwe Street of Garesha. Commemorating Nandi Azikiwe, the first president of Nigeria. Oh. So they're going to construct the DRT phase 4 here. Here? Yes, just where they are clearing and grabbing now. They are clearing oh. it. They are going to expand this road to be uh, four lanes, I mean six lanes which will have the BRT lanes in the middle. So let's go. This is the new Dar es Salaam. This side. As I told you yesterday that this time, this side never comes busy because the people come in the morning and they go away. So this is the new, this is uh, Rita Tower. Rita. Yes, it has 103 meters tall and it is the 11th tourist tower here in Tanzania oh. and we have Benjamin Mkapa towers mm -hmm. it's among the old tall towers it was once a tourist tower in Tanzania this this one no this one this which has the oh, the brown one brown one it was once a, the tourist one? tower in, in Dar es Salaam but now <laughs> it's among the shops <laughs> towers found here because oh. some other, other new towers were built here like that one that is in Zima town Zima still under construction in no, Zima the one yes that's the last one and we have the shopping mall there mm -hmm. and there are other projects going on here in Dar es Salaam nowadays this, this, this uh, lens, this lens are for electricity yes. they are going to be demolished, they are going to be put underground that's the way they did it the demo ah. so this project is going to go on that side and then come to this side they are going to move all these electric cables and then the, the seat will be cool the seat will be cool with the water and these cables wow. so this is the new so this is twin tower, uh, this one, it is called um, Zizima Commercial Tower and Zizima Residential Tower. This one here? This one, this is the grass one. Okay. So oh, this, yeah, yeah. it is still under construction and it is the seventh tourist tower here in Tanzania. It has more than uh, 35 floors. Uh -huh. And also, it has more than 145 meters. So it's one of the tallest. Not just in Tanzania, but also in East Africa. Oh, that one? Yes, one of the tallest. I know Nairobi has more taller. Yeah, yeah. Tallest, but also that is some sign coming up. So you can see one that's bigger part. Dar es Salaam, one of the biggest cities in East Africa actually and highly populated so cities. now you see these streets yeah. they have started the uptown part of Dar es Salaam where they are constructing the sidewalks I made a video about the construction of sidewalks yeah, in the I city. Saw that. so that's part all of this part of the city center we have those roads that do not have the BRT system we have the side the large side. they were there but they are destroyed like this one here yeah. they are destroyed so they are going to construct the new ones like the way they have done to the uptown part of Dar es Salaam so the project is still going on and I think by the end of this year the whole city center of Dar es Salaam will be demolished without, without these electric cables, without these bad sidewalks so it will become cool This is the exit tower, it's a helicopter for exit there oh. So you can have equit and KSB, yes? Yes So equit and KSB there Yeah, we have so many banks uh, the, the which are here in Tanzania, Kenyan banks So here the, you have? Ah, uh, we have many banks here we have the, the popular one uh -huh. is CRDB Bank. 
which is spread all over Tanzania and it's up to Burundi, just Burundi, Congo, just some branches. Yeah. And another bank, uh, another uh, famous bank, which is this. <coughs> wow. Man. So this is new Arista. Let's continue for this one. We can go and come back on this one. I'll take a picture here. Okay. The Exim Tower. Exim Tower. Yes. So come here. This is what I was telling you. Uh, Mzima. Mm -hmm. Mzima is the tower and Mzima commercial tower. Yes, this one does. This one here. And still under construction. Yeah, still under construction. Uh, uh, and now the contact for Exim Town. It's among the uh, banks here we have here in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And then we have the CLDB banks and NMB banks, which are among the largest banks here mm -hmm. in Tanzania. So look at these towers. So from here, to the other side, yeah, that is uptown. Ocean, ocean. Oh. So this is the exit venture reporter. This is Zima Commercial Tower. We have set urban cathedral here. Mm -hmm. It's urban cathedral, Zima Commercial Tower. This is exit bank. It's exit bank. Cathedral is right there. Okay. So this is the new marine Manuel Convention Center. It's one of the convention centers, the largest convention centers we have here in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And many convention centers that are that happen are. here in the restaurant, they are going they are always taking place in this it, here, here. Yes, here. So uh -huh. it's a very big, very big convention center. Very good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ah, Instagram. So this is uh, Moli Mujudes Nyerere. It's like the KICC, uh, KCC of uh, Kigali, KICC of Kenya. It's the convention center. CIC in, in Kigali. The largest KICC of Tanzania is in Arusha. Arusha. Yes, we are the capital of the This is uptown. You guys have explored the entire uptown and downtown of the Ressalam. Down here is the lake. Is the is the ocean? Jesus Christ! People would have. Uh, so this place has of some embassies. Oh, I've seen the we Norwegian. The Norwegian embassy. We have the South African embassy here. Mm -hmm. We have the British embassy somewhere. Mm -hmm. The American embassy is not this place. Found here in Morocco, but it was once in the system. But after the terrorist bombs that happened in Daresa, yeah. 1998, Daresa and Nairobi, that we are targeting the source of this one. This one. No photos. Guys, they have said no photos here. It's the convention center. So that is the South African Embassy. Then the KICC rise title of us. So here, here. Minister of Foreign Affairs, yes, you see. This one? Yes. So big, man. Very big. Yeah. So let's go this way, this way. Then we can come back at this way. This way. Well, this is the KICC. Yes, yes. So you can see everyone discussing football. <laughs> football is such how a big man, thing. How, how much do you see the results? I finished uptown. If you're in Tanzania, if you're in Tanzania, there is a lamb. Where do you want me to go to now? I need to continue with my journey now. But my friend is telling me. There's a lot. I need to stay here, bro. I will overstay in Tanzania, Germany. Hmm? Ah, what is this? 
sila kama mifungwa bana lakini watu wangeshangilia watu wakishangilia wanaozia wa nani as you can see people are just discussing football from uh, where you are passing football is the main focus because this guy is really focus on their local games you know no. one thing i like about tanzania is the ganda nikai one thing i like about tanzania is that many people are still patriotic about tanzania very true people, many people still love their country so much so there is that patriotism that is within tanzania so supporting the local supporting the local football uh, local music local movies that too is happening here actually even your music bongo is very common here yes. you guys listen to bongo a lot yes you no know, other countries like my country we listen to most kenyans listen to foreign music so you pretend, and you also trend in our country like most of the time you pretend to be people who Best are not east african yes you uh -huh. pretend to be people who are not no you pretend yeah, okay. to be other people <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the meaning. If you love other people than you, <laughs> this means that you you pretend to be American, you pretend to be Jamaican, and we are not. You pretend to be somewhere else, but you have to be you. So we have also the National Museum. Oh, somewhere here. Which I see it. Which I see it. So is the first of the Ocean Road. Ocean Road. This road goes all all the way to the state house of Tanzania. This one. This road. Ah. This Kenyan car. Evan. So this sort of stay, stay in here about the sidewalks. They are they want to make the old center to have this kind of sidewalks. Here. So this used to be the bottom of the botanical garden, but now this you know this is the plan for it. Guys are tired, they cannot call you now while you're recording. Yeah, when they are tired, they follow you and they all hunger up to you. <laughs> wow, and I go on in Dar es Salaam now, uptown and downtown. Tell me in the comment section if you are in, uh, from uh, Dar es Salaam or Tanzania. One thing I've learned about Tanzania is that you guys just don't advertise much but it's a lot i'm kenyan yes but if i compare the two my kenyan people will stone me because come to tanzania come to dar es salaam come to dar es salaam walk in their streets in their footpaths you know this is serena Guys, that is the end of Uptown and Downtown. That is the end of Uptown, actually. I've uh, traversed the whole place to walk in these streets, shown you like most of the places here. And now, to this junction, is the end of Uptown. And I'm going back to Downtown to bring you more content. And it's been a pleasure taking you around Dar es Salaam. I think I'm done with Dar es Salaam. If there is any place you wanted me to check out, or you expected me to check out but I didn't you can show me at the comment section down below where you wanted me to be but I've covered most of the places uh, of the rest alarm you can see how beautiful it is and I can say outside there at the rest alarm what Tanzanians don't do is to market themselves and my friend you can agree with me right yes that uh, you guys don't advertise or market yourself as much yes yes because you guys have a lot to show, man. Yes, and we have not explored Upanga. We have not explored Masaki. Masaki, Upanga, Magomeni, Mwenge, Mkocheni, Mezibichi, Goba, Kimara. All those are among the districts, commercial districts of Dar es Salaam. Guys, I have to end the video because remember, I'm not stopping in Dar es Salaam. I have to head to Lusaka, Zambia.
and I'll be taking a bus from here direct to Lusaka. So that will that has been Lusa that has been Dar es Salaam for you, and I'll be taking you know leaving this place all the way as I continue with my journey. My guide or my host to Dar es Salaam city has been explored with button. You can check him out on in, uh, on TikTok YouTube. and also on YouTube. Instagram. Also, and also on Instagram. He doesn't want his face. He, he runs a, a faceless channel. So he doesn't want to appear on my video. But you can just give it for your last parting shots. So, uh, my people, my dear explorers, come yes. to the restaurant and experience, and experience this city yourself. This city has a lot to offer. And remember, this is the largest city in East Africa uh, by population and by area. So come here and explore this city in detail yourself. We have the best nightlife, we have the good transport system, food, how are the food? Perfect man, Yes, Very we have nice. food, we have beaches, Zanzibar is near here, you can go to Zanzibar. One hour from If you want here. to experience the white drive, you can go to the northern part of Tanzania. If you want to climb the mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Meru, you can go. If you want to travel the villages of Tanzania, the wealthy ones and those normal ones, they are found here in the lesson. So, Tanzania has a lot to offer. And remember, last year, it, the Tanzania received more than 2 million tourists. And wow. among those tourists, I are was one of them. are just white people. What, yes. What's wrong with black people? Why can't you cross the border? I Kenyans, one of them. you don't need the, the you don't yeah, need the visa. Tanzania. You don't need the visa to come here. Ugandans, you don't need the visa to come here. Rwandese, Congolese, you don't need the visa to come here. Come here and explore this city. That's what, those are my last words. Guys, see you around. Yeah. So Bye -bye. let's cross the road.